In this video, we're going to look at how to use coding to work out the mean and standard deviation from group data. So here we've got an example of a length of a telephone call in groups, and we've got the frequency, the midpoint, and we've got Y, which is the coded values that we need. So what we're going to do is learn how to do this. So we're going to get our calculator, and what we're going to do is type in these values as what we've done in class. So we go to menu, we're going to go to option six, go to one variable, and we're going to type these values in. So we're going to get minus one, zero, one, we've got two, we got 6.5, and then if we go down to the table here, we've got 11.5. So we just type in 11.5. And then we're going to write the corresponding frequencies. So we've got 4, 15, 5, 2, 0, and there's one more, which is 1. So we go to option, option number 2, one variable calculation. And we get our statistics that we need. And remember how we write this. So from the calculator, I'm going to write them down. So I get that the sum of Fy is going to be 16.5. The sum of Fy squared is 149.25. And the sum of F from our calculator is 27, which is N on your calculator. So from here, I can estimate the coded value for the mean, which is Y bar, which is going to be the sum of FY divided by the sum of F. So that gives me 16.5 over 27 which is 11 over 18, approximately 0 0.61 recurrent. So now we're going to work out the standard deviation. So we're going to write sigma y. Let's write the formula out here. We get sigma fy squared over sigma f minus the mean squared. So we're going to do sigma y. That's going to give me 149.25 over 27 minus 16.5 over 27 squared. Let's a bit, that a bit clearer. So sigma y. So we, we know on our calculator we get a value of 2.270. So when we calculate it, we should get something similar. So it's the square root of 149. 0.25 over 27 minus the true value of the mean, which is 16.5 over 27. Please refrain from using a rounded value. It will affect your final answer. So we do get 2.270. So 2.270 and so on. So now what we want to do is use the coded formula, which is y equals x minus 7.5 over 5, to calculate the original mean and standard deviation of the data from the coded values. So we're going to write that formula out, which is 
y equals to x minus 7.5 divided by 5. In our case, what we're going to get is y bar equals x bar minus 7.5 over 5. So we can say that we could rearrange for x bar, which is 5 multiplied by y bar plus 7.5. So we get x bar equals 5 times, I'm going to use the true value of the mean that we worked out. So that's going to be 16.5 over 27 plus 7.5. And then we can use our calculator to work this out. So move my calculator over here. We're just going to do five open brackets, 16.5 over 27 plus 7.5. And that will give me 10.555 recurrent. So if you were to round that to three significant figures, we get 10.6. So now we're going to do the same for the standard deviation. But remember, in the standard deviation, we never get affected by adding or minus in the value. So we're going to say sigma y equals to sigma x. We don't care about this minus 7.5. That doesn't affect our data set in terms of the variance. So it's going to be sigma x over 5. So then 5 multiplied by sigma y is equal to sigma x. So we can say sigma x is 5 times what we got here for the standard deviation, which is 2.270. So 2.270, blah, blah. And we could type this into our calculator. So we get 5 times 2.270. And we get approximately 11.35. So 11.35. So to round that up, we get 11.4. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So we've got another coding question here with the formula being y equals x minus 1 over 20. We've got its respective coded values and it's group data. So remember how we do this, we get our calculator, we're going to input these values into the calculator, we're going to option six, one variable, Let's type in the values in, we need the y values, so it's one, 1.1, 1 1 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4 respectively, and it's corresponding frequencies, which is going to be three, 12, 40, 10, and 5. So if we go to option option 2 for one variable calculation, we can write down our key statistics. Now we get our key statistics, so we need the sum of Fy, which is 84.2. So let's write that down. So we've got the sum of Fy which is 84.2. We need the sum of Fy squared. You can get that from the calculator. And that gives me 101.82. And we need the sum of F. Which is 70. So now we can work out the mean for Y, which is the sum of Fy over F. which is going to be 84.2 over 70. So let's get our answer as a decimal. So we know for the mean, we're looking at roughly 1.2028. And for the standard deviation, we should get 0 0.0877. So let's type it into our calculator. So I do 84.2 divided by 70. 
which is indeed 1.2028. So I'm just going to call it 1.20 plus other values. So now we can work out the standard deviation. So it's sigma fy squared over sigma of f minus the mean squared. So in our case, it's going to be sigma y Now, sigma fy squared is going to be 101.82 over the sum of f, which is 70, minus the mean squared, which is 84.2 over 70. So sigma y, we can type that in here. So 101.82 over 70 minus 84.2 over 70 squared gives me 0 0.087784 so I'm going to write the true value out so 0 0.08778 and to make life easy I'm going to store this into my calculator. So I'm going to press store in A so I can record that anytime. So now what we need to do is work out the original values. So let's write down the formula. So the formula was y equals to x minus 1 over 20. Let's double check that with the, what we have on, in our table. So it's x minus 1 over 20, which is fine. So now we're going to work out the mean. So the mean is going to be y bar is equal to x bar minus 1 over 20. So x bar is 20 times y bar plus 1. So x bar is 20 times the value we got for y bar. So let's go back and look at our mean. It's 84.2 over 70. So we're going to write that down. So it's 20 times 84.2 over 70 plus 1. We can type that into our calculator and we should get our value which is 20 times 84.2 over 70 uh, plus 1. And that will give me the value I need. So I get 25.1 approximately. So 25.1 Now, let's do the same for the standard deviation. So it's sigma y. We don't care about the minus 1, so it's sigma x over 20. So sigma y times 20 is equal to sigma x. So sigma x is 20 times what we had, 0 0.08. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to use my calculator to record that value. So that's going to be, in our case, 20 times alpha A, and we should get 1.75569. So approximately 1.76 is the answer, the three significant figures.